Hi everyone and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Thanks so much for stopping in for this thrift to treasure video where I'm going to take some items that I found at the Goodwill and change them into some cute home decor that fits my style. Also, if you're new here, I would love for you to pop into the comments and say hi so I can welcome you to our YouTube family. And if you're a returning friend, thanks so much for your support. And I hope you all enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with anybody else that you think might enjoy it. It really helps out my channel. So first we're going to start with this piece that I found at Goodwill. I believe it's a shelf. It's made of two shutters and then whatever those side pieces are. Um, but I've been looking for shutters for a really, really long time because I've been wanting to um, make these shutter shelves that I've seen. And I've probably been looking for shutters this size for about a year now, so I was really excited when I found it. I believe it was $5.99 or $4.99. And then I found this garland. I thought it was perfect for either um, my fireplace or over my mirror in the dining room. It's a pre-lit garland, so I thought that was really cool. And it was only $5.99. And I think it's probably six feet long. Then I found this bell, which I thought was adorable. And it's originally um, from the Christmas, the Christmas tree shop, I believe. And I got it for $1.99. And then I found this really cute pedestal candle holder. I wasn't too thrilled with the color of it. I think it was meant to be like a copper color, but it's just not my style. And then this um, battery operated candle. And this was only 99 cents. So that's what I got for this time around. I will have another haul for you guys shortly. So for the shelf, I'm just taking off those side pieces. And I'm going to be painting this white. And I know I said in one of my last videos that I don't want everything painted white in my house. Um, but these, the style I've been wanting to recreate, they were white. So, so this, yes, I am going to be painting white. And I think these things I could probably save and reuse. I'm not sure what, maybe bookends or something, but I'll figure it out. So I'm taking this scrap piece of wood that um, my dad had given me from a project they had done at their house. And I'm going to chalk paint it with this um, chalk paintbrush. I love this brand. They work really well with the chalk paints. And this one that has kind of like a pointed tip is working awesome for this project because it can get into those little grooves. Then I'm just going to measure the width of the shutter so that I can cut the shelves to size. And this is going to be such a simple DIY. And I'm going to paint that um, shelf the same color as the shutter. And then these side pieces that hold that help to hold the shelf onto the shutters, I'm also going to be painting those white. My husband made the cuts for me, so that was super helpful. And we just cut angles on these um, side pieces that help to hold the shelf onto the shutter. Now I don't need to give you measurements because um, not all shutters are going to be the same size. And I thought I would show you the tools that I use because I love them. For one, they're pink and super girly, but they are really, really helpful because they have all these um, tips and stuff. They have all the tools in this bag and I thought it would be a perfect time to show you because, so if you know anybody who would like a pink tool set, I will link them in the description box. So originally I screwed these the shelf in and then decided to use nails. So here I'm just securing those little pieces onto the shutter and the shelf with some wood glue and nails. And I used the same on the shelf attaching it to the shutter the same wood glue and nails and I didn't paint the back I didn't think it was worth it because nobody would see it and 
For this candle holder, I apologize for the lighting. I'm in my garage at night, so. <laughs> but anyway, I wanted to go for more of a shabby chic look. So I'm using this, um, this pink spray paint, and I like it because it has a matte finish. And I'm not gonna be too careful with this. I'm just going to spray the middle because I'm going to do the top and the bottom like a really pretty silver color. And I did two coats of the pink, and with this lighting, you can't really tell it's pink. I apologize, but it gets so dark so early now. So after I did the pink, I let the two coats dry and I'm not going to tape it off. If you want like a perfectly straight edge, you would want to tape off the pink um, so that you don't get any overspray, but I kind of wanted it to have like a faded look, like the silver into the pink. So I'm just going to try my best to keep it on the bottom and the top, of the silver spray paint. And then for these, if you saw my last haul, I got these mercury glass candle holders that um, were turning kind of yellow. I got these at Goodwill, but I still thought they were pretty cool. I thought I could do something with them. And my husband had the brilliant idea of running it under hot water because he thought the top, that silver part would just pop right off. And he was right. And this is what it looks like with the top off. I added some hot soapy water just to remove some of that yellow grime. I'm not really sure what it is. So I'll show you how I did it with this other one. And I used really hot water. So be very careful if you do this. Also be very careful because if the, yours are like mine, they're glass, so they're very sharp on the top. But see, the top pops off really easy. And then I just took some soapy water. See how nasty that looks? <laughs> So I just took some soapy water and alcohol and I'm just getting in there where I can, um, scrubbing it and then I kind of put the, the napkin in there and <laughs> swished it around with a paintbrush just to get really low. So I got off, got most of it off, I don't know if you can tell here, and I was debating whether I wanted to do anything with them because I thought they looked really pretty like this, but I'm taking this mirror mirror spray. It's like a, um, a looking glass spray or mercury glass. And I'm just spraying kind of a heavy coat inside so that I could get it down to the bottom and kind of roll the paint around in the bottom. And then I'm spraying it with some vinegar spray just to give it the, mer the mercury glass look. And I will show you what that looks like shortly. For this next one, I'm just taking these little jars from the Dollar Tree and some burlap. and a pool noodle that I got in the summertime. I believe it was from the Dollar Tree, I'm not really sure. But I pushed the pool noodle into the jar because that's going to be what holds up the, um, the little pine tree stem because I'm going to try and make it look like those little pine trees that you get at Michael's or Pottery Barn or whatever. But I wanted it to be real because I love the smell of pine. So I just hot glued the burlap to the jar. And here you can use any fabric or um, ribbon to wrap around it, whatever look you want, whatever will go with your decor. But I had seen some at Pottery Barn that I really liked, so I was trying to duplicate them. And then I just took some twine at the top and tied it off so that you couldn't see the pool noodle. And this other one, I cut it a little bit too short, so I um, just glued on kind of an extension to the burlap. And I think they turned out really cute, especially with the shutter shelves. Like I said, I've been wanting to do, I've been wanting to recreate these shelves for over a year now. Um, I saw them originally online on Etsy, but then I saw them on the um, Regina's channel, uh, Home Sweep Home. If you get a chance, check her out. She has beautiful home decor. So tell me what you think of these shutters. I really like them. Um, I didn't show you on the wall because I don't have hangers for them yet. And here is the candle holder. I think it turned out really, really pretty. I love the pink with the silver and it's very shabby chic. The mercury glass candle holders 
I'm not 100% happy with, so I might go through the whole process again with washing them out and trying something different, but I'll let you know if I do that. So let me know what you think of all these projects. And um, for those of you who subscribe to my new channel, I'm going to have a video up tomorrow, which is going to be November 26th, I believe. Um, so be sure to check that out. That's my um, going to be my Christmas cocoa bar decorate with me and my kitchen clean with me. So thanks so much for all your support, guys. I really, really appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!